He was a Spanish explorer and navigator. He is known for his work in the Pacific Northwest during the late 18th century. He is Juan Carrasco. In the late 18th century, there emerged a figure whose exploration and navigation skills would leave a lasting impact on the Pacific Northwest. This explorer was Juan Carrasco, a Spanish naval officer and navigator. Although many details about his life remain unknown, Carrasco's contributions during this time were significant. Carrasco began his journey of exploration as the second-in-command of the 1791 voyage led by José María Narváez. This expedition marked the first European exploration of the Strait of Georgia, an important waterway in the region. Carrasco's navigational expertise and experience as a naval officer proved instrumental in the success of this expedition. Prior to his Pacific Northwest endeavors, Carrasco received his education at the prestigious Academy of San Telmo in Spain, sometime between 1775 and 1780. After completing his studies, he served under the command of Francisco Antonio Morel in the Philippines. It was during this time that Carrasco honed his skills and gained valuable experience in navigation and exploration. In 1784, Carrasco embarked on a journey to the Pacific Northwest. His precise route and specific accomplishments during this period are not extensively documented. Nevertheless, Carrasco's presence in the region indicates his involvement in the exploration and mapping efforts of that time. Carrasco's notable expeditions included traversing various waterways and regions of the Pacific Northwest. These locations included Nootka Sound, the Strait of Juan de Fuca, Sook Basin, Vancouver Island, Eskimalt, Dungeness Spit, the Fraser River, Port Angeles, and even extending southward towards California and Acapulco. Juan Carrasco's expeditions and navigational skills had a profound impact on the Pacific Northwest and beyond. His contributions to the European exploration of the Strait of Georgia, along with his extensive travels throughout the region, played a vital role in expanding knowledge of these territories. As we reflect upon Carrasco's pioneering efforts, we recognize his dedication and courage in navigating uncharted waters and exploring unfamiliar lands. The legacy of Juan Carrasco, the Spanish naval officer and explorer, continues to inspire future generations to venture into the unknown and expand the boundaries of human knowledge. Juan Carrasco served as a pilot on the ship Princesa Real, commanded by Manuel Camper. Dispatched by Francisco de Eliza from the Spanish post at Nootka Sound, their mission was to explore the Strait of Juan de Fuca. They sailed on May 31, rapidly surpassing previous explorations. Anchored in Sook Basin for several days, they then continued east, passing between Race Rocks and Vancouver Island and anchoring near Esquimalt. On July 4, the Spanish crossed the Strait of Juan de Fuca, anchoring near Dungeness Spit. Carrasco and the crew used boats to explore the eastern end of the strait, discovering Admiralty Inlet and Deception Pass, which was named Boca de Flan. Limited by resources, they focused their exploration near Dungeness Spit, discovering Protection Island, named Isla de Carrasco in Carrasco's honor, and Port Discovery, named Porta de Quadra. Consulting with Carrasco and Harrow, Camper decided to return to Nootka. The expedition found Harrow Strait, named after Pilot Harrow, and Esquimalt Harbor, named Cordova. They sailed west along the coast, reaching Ni Bay in August. Performing ceremonies along the way, they claimed Spanish possession of the region. Unable to enter Nootka Sound, they sailed south to Monterey, California. They arrived on September 1, 1790, and later sailed to San Blas, Mexico, arriving on November 13, 1790. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.